Hello and welcome to the Offsite Construction Series, OffsiteDirt.com um, Construction News. My name is Audrey Grabesic. I am the owner of Modular SureSite. We are a modular um, consulting firm for residential and commercial projects. We also have a dedicated factory line. Last but not least, we'll have Anthony actually share a little bit about B. Marco himself. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And would you mind, Scott, if I kept it uh, this way for a minute before I jumped into the presentation? Yeah. So it's not too confusing. Absolutely. Okay, hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, I'm excited. Um, B Marco Structures, uh, I guess maybe a little different from the stories we heard so far. Um, we started in 2014. Um, and the only thing we knew at the time, there was a lot of things that we didn't know. One thing we knew is that um, construction kind of sucked. And the, the way we knew that is because the, the person that, that uh, it was me and Boris who started the company and Boris built his own soccer stadium in, in 2005 or so in Atlanta. And then he used a uh, precast double T. And so, you know, they broke ground February. They played the first game, uh, soccer game. July. So he's like, oh my God, this is like amazing. This is offside construction and prefabrication is the future. You know, then what, what really put the nail in the coffin is when he built his own home in 20, 2012. And so it's like, okay, you know, um, we need to change this. So, so that's literally the only thing we knew. Uh, we started with shipping containers, uh, shipping container modifications in 2014. Uh, didn't have a lot of money, uh, bootstrapped the company um two years later uh we get profitable uh we start doing the more fun stuff doing steel modular for ourselves uh we kept shipping and tearing modifications because because we were pretty good at it and and we liked it so 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 then we go into steel modular for for industrial products um not so much commercial uh, on the steel front and then finally in 2018 we run into marriott in one of the world of modulars uh, modular events and they started talking about this wood modular thing which we had no idea what it was and they're like this and that and we're like okay but still it's better but that was kind of like i bought i bias and then we kind of challenges challenged our bias and we started looking into what would you know the commercial wood modular product that that pretty much everybody else is talking about today and we're shocked at how strong it is and then we kept kind of chirping in and and we were so impressed at just how phenomenally tough that product is and people were saying yeah if it falls off the the truck it's going to be intact and we're like yeah you're lying and then the second person said it the third person said it the fourth person said anthony i'm not lying because it happened to me and i'm like okay uh, like we need we need to 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 look into into the wood modular product anyway and so here we are we started our second factory um first factory does shipping and tender modifications and steel modular buildings and sorry and uh, the second factory, which we just started in Greenville, South Carolina, um, builds a, a, a commercial wood modular product. So let me, let me dive into the, the presentation real fast. I won't, I won't stay too long on the presentation. Um, and if I could get a heads up that it's showing correctly. Okay. Yes, Thank you're you. good. Thank you. And so, you know, a, a little bit of what I'm going to be talking about is, uh, is, is going to be, I guess, DFMA. And a lot of the questions are kind of uh, that, that might be coming up have, have to do with that. So you can kind of see how we approach projects. Um, and uh, we, we kind of fully model um, every project. And in, in, in 3D, uh, we use Revit and we get our shop drawings from that. So that's, kind of, that's very important to us. Um, this, is, this is a shot from our factory. You can uh, see a ceiling assembly. Uh, which you can notice here is uh, kind of the amount of prefabrication that we do to the prefabrication, which, which is modular construction. So, so that's what we believe in. And so you can kind of see how Revit and, and design really aids that. So for example, the ceiling panel that you see here, um, you can see kind of a silver part on the ceiling rim. So, so that's, um, that's, that's a two by eight ceiling rim that, that we press together and we feed the ceiling uh, build table with uh, that that length of a rim, so that's prefabricated. The holes that are that are used to lift that ceiling panel are pre, are, are pre-done um, on the table before that piece is fed to the 
to the to the ceiling table and then you can kind of see the the ceiling uh, drywall is mudded and you can see those pipes those pipes are uh, fire sprinkler pipes and we pre-test the whole fire sprinkler system before we we kind of volumetrize the box in our factory uh, so prefabrication is very important to us even inside our factory and this is just some shots um, uh, the way that this factory started is a 190 apartment unit project in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, and that kind of gave birth to our Greenville, South Carolina factory. Um, and here you can kind of see that project, that project. And you can see on the, the whole bottom is just uh, the first building out of 21. And you can see kind of the, 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 the exterior, the shrink wrap, and then, and then the crane set, of course. And then here you can, and it's my background, actually, this top right picture. It's, it's B. Marco believes in doing just as much as possible in the factory. And that means the LVT, that means the windows, the drywall, the paint, the trim, the base for the shoe malt, the countertops, the sink. So that's what we believe in. And those are the projects that we, that we want to undertake. Um, and, um, and here you can kind of see, uh, again, again, that same project in Spartanburg. And uh, I'll close, I'll, I'll kick the share out, and I'll close by saying, um, I want to say a bunch of things, but maybe I'll say it later because I can't, I can't think of what I want to say. <laughs>